Okay, we're gonna go over some um, basic utensils that we use in the kitchen. Um, this right here is a china cap versus a chinois. Uh, the china cap is right here. Um, I have two right here because I wanted to point out that um, you might not be able to see in the video, but you will be able to see by the naked eye, is that these holes are smaller than these holes. So there are, even though this is a china cap, there are two sizes to it. So make sure um, whatever you're using, if you know you need a specific size, make sure you look for that. Okay. And then this is the chinois. This one you usually strain broth, out of, like bones out of broth. Um, so you would just want large chunks and you just want the liquid. But if you want like no particles, nothing coming out of the broth, or just you just want the broth and no particles in it, you would strain it through this first and then strain it through this to get as much of the debris out as possible. Um, and this is a great tool for getting just the liquid. Um, I would use these to strain stuff. These are sifters. Um, instead of the handheld um, shaking sifters for flour or any of the dried items, we use these. Um, you can also use these kind of like the chinois, um, but this one works better if you want liquid. If you're frying something very small and it's only a, like a cup worth of oil, or if you want to strain something that's only a very small amount, using one of these um, is easier than using one of these two because it's the size difference. So depending on what you're doing would be the purpose. And then these are fine mesh strainers. This is also considered a fine mesh strainer, but it's a fine mesh spider. Um, both of these are spiders, and then this one's just a fine mesh one. So anytime you want to take something out, um, would you would use one of these. These you would use if you want to pour something and gather the item. So don't try to use this to pull something out. Um, use one of these to pull it out and then one of these to gather anything that you pour through it. This is an ice scoop. Um, we have metal and plastic in the restaurant uh, or in the kitchens. Um, depending on which one you, your instructor prefers, make sure you use either the metal or the plastic ice scoop. And ice scoops do not live in the ice. They must stay outside. Um, for health code reasons. Um, the difference between these items, this is a measuring cup. Um, this measures a cup, two cups, and then um, four, four quarts. And then these are measuring spoons. So we have the cup, we have a third cup, we have a quarter, half cup and a quarter cup. These are for liquid items. So if you're measuring out milk, water, stock, anything that's liquid form, you would use these items. Anything that's in solid form, you would use these items. Um, flour, sugar, salt, cocoa powder, you would use cups, if the recipe's in cups. If it's in grams, um, liquid you would use, and here, grams, you would use a scale uh, for dry items. Um, make sure you do not use um, this as one cup for rice, because you will use one cup of rice in dry form. And measurements do not, um, in, they do not interchange. So liquid, solid.